Fellow Students, this is Mr. Gutierrez for today's uh, virtual field trip. We'll, we will be going to Gray Pine Trail. It's in Santa Mar Margarita Lake. And just want to show you guys a couple of things that we have here on this uh, board be behind us. This is the board that's right at the entrance of the Gray Pine Trail. If we look here, we are going to actually take the Gray Pine Loop, which is at the, at the very top. But we want to go all the way to Eagles Point, which has a, a very nice view of the, of the lake. And then of course we'll have to come back. So 1.6 times two. Well, how much would that be? How much of a hiking would that, would that be? Then we have on this, on this board here, we can see the share the trail. You will probably um, have hikers, which is the, the first one right there. Then we will also have horses for horseback riding and, and bikers. Unfortunately, this is the mountain, so you might be able to see some, some bears. Uh, they hear the rules on what to do if you happen to see them. There are their footprints, so let's watch out for those for those footprints in case we see, we see them. This this one is probably even worse. It, it's it's uh, a mountain lion. Okay, and again we see their little their little paw prints right there. And for the third animals that we might be encountering are these snakes here: rattlesnakes, ringneck snakes, king snakes, garter snakes, and gopher snakes. This is the start of the trail. You can see that it's a very, very thin trail. From the beginning, you can see where the, where the campsites are. So you are able to camp here, and of course take, take, take your trails or go on to the, to the lake. for a little bit and we actually saw some deer. We have encountered our first paw print here. I'm not sure what kind of animal but you can see that there are some nice little claws in the front of it. Found our second print here. We have two feet. You can see the claws, the claw marks right there. We are in the middle of hiking and we saw this really nice huge rock which we're going to climb onto. We notice it has a lot of this green stuff all around it. Well, not all around it, mostly in, on one side. What side does moss grow on? That is a question. What side does moss grow on? As you can see, we encounter some fresh scat. What is scat? The trails are very curvy and slippery. Today, the ground is slightly wet since it rained a couple days ago. We are now about a third, and I've noticed that there's a mountain behind us. You can see it back there. And Eagle's view is that one right there. So we are gonna go all the way around. We're gonna go all the way around, and we're gonna climb that mountain right there. We should be able to have a great view of, of the lake from up there. hiking next to a cliff. I don't know if you can see here, but definitely if you slip off this, you will end up down there in the creek area 
you can definitely hurt yourself. So we be careful here. When you're hiking, you need to look at the trail. You need to look at your surroundings. Make sure that there's no animals, wild animals around you. Just to be safe. We've came up to the sign here. And if you notice, it says Great Pine Trail, this one in the bottom. And it says to go back one mile, which means we've hiked one mile so far. How much more do we still need to hike from here to go to the Eagles View? If you remember, at the beginning of the video, I told you guys how far that Eagles View was. And we have so far hiked one mile so far. trail if you notice on the ground there are some animal prints what animal might those be we have came up to another sign and if you look if you go straight ahead which is up that hill we're gonna get to Eagle Eagle view which is 0.4 miles if we go back to gray pine camp 1.6 miles what is 1.6 plus 0.4 miles? That is a total that we are going to hike to get up to Eagle View. In the last stretch to reach the top of the mountain, you will notice some really good views. And if you've noticed, there's also been benches throughout the whole hike. And that is so that people can stop and just sit down and relax and look, and look at the view from wherever they're at. We are halfway up to Eagle View. You can already see the great view of the lake from up here. This is the reason you, you do the hike, to be able to see that lake from at least a thousand feet up. In the very last piece of the hike, they do not allow horses to go past that sign, but you will notice that there are a lot of rocks and broken trees. We have finally made it to Eagle's View. We are at the top of the mountain here. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what it looks like from up here. Here's the view that we've hiked a total of two miles to get to. We can see the lake running from side to side. Almost no obstructions. This lake is called Santa Margarita Lake, and it is pretty huge. If you notice on top of the mountain, behind that second lake, you'll see some little houses back there. I'm going to do a 360 view from this top point here called Eagle's View. You have the lake on one side, but if you keep going, you have a gorgeous view of mountains. Today's a little cloudy. That's the trail we came down through. And we're back to the lake. 360 view. We have now climbed down the mountain we are on the edge of the lake. There's a little walk path here. 
This is what we saw from the top of the mountain. Little lake, a little section of the lake. Well, we were at the lake, at the bottom. We've encountered some eagles. Hello, we've made it back to the to our starting point. Uh, coming back, we went through a different trail or to a different area where we went downhill and then took a road to the to the parking lot. So far, according to my watch, I have walked or hiked about 2.8 miles. That was our total hike today. 